Hey guys, it's Max. Ben. And Vadim. And today we're gonna see how good the new S24 Ultra is and if it can compete with the Pixel 8 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. Yeah, so Max went out and took a bunch of photos and we haven't seen these yet. We're gonna be voting to see which one we like the best. So this is a selfie. In this series of photos, we have a lot of mixed lighting, which makes it really difficult. Oh man, this one's really tough. I do like the detail of the one in the center. It, it is a little bit dark like under your eyes, but I still like it, yeah. Yeah, same here. The background blur is actually really nice on this one. Yeah, it does have some blur. Yeah, yeah this one is not blurred at it's all. It's kind of blue. Yeah. It is very blue. Yeah, let's see what that is. You guys voted for the hey. Pixel 8 Pixel. Pro. Yeah, it looks not like a cell phone image compared to the other Pretty two. Pretty good. And here we have a zoom shot. Mm. Oh, by the way, you guys can grab a piece of paper and just uh, follow along with us and see who wins. Yeah, it's usually a lot of fun. So what do you guys think? All of three of these have five oh, X cameras now. This is tough. Definitely not the right. It's so soft and blurry. There's a lot of noise here. I'm kind of gravitating towards the left for some reason. Yeah, the one on the right is trash, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Super blurry. <laughs> but yeah, probably this one right here. S24. And S24 hey. Ultra looks Good. That Surprisingly, the Pixel 8 Pro has a 48 megapixel mm -hmm. telephoto. We have a 50 and a 12. The iPhone somehow looked That's better. Crazy. And here we have a portrait oh. shot. Okay, well, first of all, I notice this one messed up the cutout. His shoulder here, his hair, right there, it's just so distracting. I don't like that. I'm going with the center. It's either this picture or this picture. More center, center yeah. S24 Ultra. Ultra. Okay. Uh, so the interesting thing is the Pixel will not let you take a portrait of the 5X. Mm. Still, yep. where Samsung now added it, which sense. is really nice. Now we have the sun came out hitting the car here. These are all so close. I like the center. I feel like it has more detail and overall it has more sharpness in the wheels. Yeah, I'll go for the center. Pixel, Pixel 8, 8 Pro. Oh, no. Guys, what's going on? No love for iPhone? Yeah. I thought this was an iPhone uh -oh. channel. <laughs> Guess it's doing Butters. better. <laughs> and here we have this backlit bright sky, but it's also kind of moody overcast. If I'm looking at both of these pictures, uh, I would love to combine these two. Yeah. Like the face on here is much brighter versus here, but you got a blown out sky in the center, but you got more detail here too. Even though this is blown out, I'd probably choose this one it in the middle. Reminds me more of like a DSLR shot. Yeah, interesting. I really don't like the one on the right. It's super flat and gray, um, but I do think I'm gonna choose the one on the left. I like overall, well-rounded. I feel like the one in the center is a little bit too dark on her and her clothing, and also the sky is visible here too, so. 15 for, yeah, hey, got got nice one for the iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> and this is a shot of downtown. That's all I will say. Center. Holy moly, that looks good. Center. Instantly kills it. You got potato over here on the right. Not as good over here where all the details are just flat. So one of these phones is 200 megapixel. The other two are 48, and this is in huh. high res mode. Okay, am I, are we gonna get tricked here? Pixel. Ooh, Pixel 8 Pixel. Pro. What is going on? Google, what's here going we on? have 200 megapixel. But yeah. the HDR is not as good when you want to capture all of that detail oh, is what I noticed. That's a good point. So Potato. look how clear that is. I know, that, that just looks, looks so amazing. So 200 is trash compared to 48. <laughs> it's a lot more processing that's needed. Sheesh. Now we have this portrait shot. This is a 2X. Interesting. I do like the one on the left. It's it's a nice contrast there. It's not like super mm -hmm. white over here. I like the one in the center. I like how the shadowing and the highlight roll off on his face looks very, very natural. His hair and like the texture on the jacket, really crisp. Yeah, so like we got it. a center and left, and this is so tough because we have foreground, background. This is such a hard shot yeah. to take. Oh. So and Samsung and iPhone. And Ooh. this was some Turkish coffee. I tried it for the first oh, time. Was okay. it good? Yeah, it was good. Now it was I want very some. Smooth. I like the center. I feel like the one on the left, everything just has a warm tint all over it. Everything's warm. I like the one on the left. All right, S24 Pixel. and oh Pixel here. Hey, looks like you gotta get a new phone. <laughs> yeah. S24. Yeah. And we have this tough lower lighting portrait shot. I was gonna say the left because I really like all the fine hairs with the blur edging, but I don't like how everything has a really warm tint, including like her shirt. Whereas the one in the middle, the kind of the blue hues come out of the shirt as well and everything like is nicely colored. Good detail too, I like that. I'll go with the left, just 
because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, first iPhone! Finally! <laughs> I don't know what happened with the Samsung here. Yeah, it's oh, really man. off. All right, we have this cathedral. In That's Spokane. easy. That's easy. Immediately the center. Yeah. Center. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The sunset glow, like. Mm. S24. I don't know what Oops. happened with the 15 Pro Max. Detail Sheesh. doesn't look great, and it's so flat. It did not look like that in it real looks life. Really bad. Oh, and we have nice. this 1x portrait. I don't like the one on the right because it feels like it's way too cool. Because you you know it's sunset, but like their skin tones are kind of bluish. These ones are so close. I like the left because their faces are better exposed. I think in their yeah. I'll choose the center because the background is actually more blurry. S24, S24. and 15 Pro Max. iPhone Dang. coming back. Have you guys ag agreed or only once or twice? We have in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. And now ultra wide time. I'm going for the center. I love the sky yeah. and just the contrast. Yes, this one's brighter, but overall yeah. the picture here looks just way nicer. Yep, me too. So much more detail in the center. All the texture is visible. S24. S24. Now we have all this fine detail with the 5X cameras. Interesting. Anyway, I like the center. Like on the left image, this is all blown out. All the details gone. All the texture, super sharp. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one, <laughs> but I would definitely, this one has a lot more detail, which is very interesting. Yeah, I like the one it's in the really center. really good. Oh, what in the world? I actually forgot what this is. 12 megapixel telephoto, well, and it looks great. It's probably deep fusion. Now it's starting to get a little darker. This is a portrait of these blocks for Spokane. I've got to say the one on the left. I'm seeing more detail, and I like how like the color yellow is popping out more. It's more vibrant, you know? Yeah, I like the one on the left. The colors are nicer. Pixel, Pixel 8 Pro, and that was the Sheesh. Samsung. What are we doing with iPhones, man? <laughs> Here's another portrait in low lighting. All right, so I don't like the one on the left. I like the center. I like how it's moody, got all the colors that are really popping out. Yeah, I like the one on the right. Okay, so we got a center and right. Ooh, and iPhone. S24 Ultra. Nice. To me, the S24 looks like the one, the only one that looks like a DSLR shot in this scenario. And we have a regular photo here, only the Samsung actually has a dedicated 3X lens. 3X. I like the one on the right. It still has that blur effect. Yeah, it does have some blur. Yeah, right. and it, and it looks so. better overall. So two, and I actually don't know which, which are which, two of them are 3X crop from the main because they have to, mm -hmm. and one is the actual optical. That's true. I do like the one on the right. I like how it really separates him from the background. And pixel. that is the pixel sum. No way. <laughs> so there's no real purpose to have a 3X lens on there. And we have this last bit of light Whoa. against the sky. The HDR, bro. Yeah, what in the Sheesh. world happened here? Yeah, I mean, if I just look at the face itself, the center, I like the, the best. Yeah, just look at Max and see <laughs> This shows me how old I am in that picture. <laughs> no, yeah, the center, I, I do like that the best. Um, everything is Yeah, I'll have to done. agree. It just it yeah, looks the most natural. Both. Yeah. yeah. Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro. The iPhone. What the, the iPhone heck? is able to get some of that sky the mo best, Sheesh. but the image looks like trash. Apple, you're embarrassing us here. And this is after sunset, and we have some differences. Sheesh. I mean, it's the one on the right for me, easy. It's the one that's the least blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a it's good, a good picture, yeah. Pixel, Pixel, Pixel 8, 8. Goodness, Pro. Man. It got the white balance oh. spot on. AI, you know. And we have this uh, top lighting that was nice and warm, looked cool. I like the left. I'm just looking like at this tree and I'm seeing all these fine details that I'm not seeing in the other ones, so. Even though it's blue, I still go with this one. Yeah, it shows iPhone. the iPhone. Okay, we have this far distance um, restaurant out there with the lights and the buildings. I choose the one on the left. Mm -hmm. Like the first thing I saw was how sharp it is, the colors. Well, yeah, these on ones look one. really flat and, and blue. This one especially looks quite terrible, but I'm looking at these squiggly lines, these lights, super sharp. S24. S24. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one. And we got a really Ooh. tough portrait. I was surprised how well all of them did. Dang. <laughs> Look at that. It completely blew oh, it out. Oh, dang it. Why'd you mention that? I'm guessing. <laughs> I love this one right here. Oh. That does look cool. I don't like the fringe effect of how it's almost like double blurry vision on some of these. I'm gonna go with the center because I really like the black contrast. Pixel. Ooh. And the Samsung what messed happened up. There? What I happened don't know, there? but also you have all this blown out oh, spots here. Yeah. I thought this was like, iPhone. Turned it into like bokeh. <laughs> and this is a 2X portrait. All of them have that mode. Oh, I saw a difference. I like the one on the right. Look at her jacket. Yeah, I like the one on the right. Just... Yeah, me too. I do like how the blacks actually look 
black yeah. properly and everything else. And it's the most true to life, and that one is? Excel. Google wow. is doing a great job. Wow. They really stepped it up the last couple years. We got this sunset or past sunset carousel shot. If I were to keep a photo in my phone, I'd probably go with the one here on the left. It just, the contrast is kind of nice. It's, you know, pink and purple over here with the blue sky and the water versus here it's like white blown out. I actually like the one in the center. I like how it's more white, has less blue. I really don't like blue. Pixel. Ooh. iPhone and Pixel. Was it more like that, Max? Yeah. In it reality, it looked very more like the center. Pixel. And this what? is... <laughs> Potato! <laughs> yeah, this is a portrait shot at night. Uh, with the 5X lens. Which one was taken with the potato? <laughs> Are you <laughs> tricking us, bro? I'm just no. Kidding. The left one, for me, has the most detail. Dude, same. Like, it, you can see like, her you face. You can see her face, yeah. <laughs> That's 24. Style. And I'd say the iPhone looks the worst. Oh, man. Yeah. What happened? That's Did not, not do well at all. We got the trash goat from Spokane. I like the one on the left. Look what happened there. What oh, is that? Wait a That's some good oh, processing. Dang. Look. Yeah, the one on the left, if you look really closely, you can see all of these little weld marks. Really cool. Nope. Oh, you were right. <laughs> yeah. The iPhone won that one. So I have a good amount of 5X wow. because now they all have 5X lenses. Yeah. I definitely like the one in the center, even though the clock is sharper, but you can actually see the detail here. You can actually the, see the bricks. Yeah, you can yeah. see the bricks, right? The uh, lights here, nice color reproduction. I like that a lot. So you guys are voting for center? Oh yeah. Which yeah. phone do you think that is? Oh man. The S24. iPhone. Yeah! No <laughs> way! <laughs> and we got a, I believe a 2X portrait here. I like the one in the center. Okay, it you just, got it. <laughs> it just looks better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one thing you see right here, you see blown out. Yeah. Looking in the center, this is the only one that has the red neon and whatever that sign is comes And out. these lights are actually warm and yeah. you have the dynamic range there. It did a great Beautiful. job. Beautiful. Pixel. 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 It looks so wow. good. Now we got an ultra wide. Mac Daddy's. Yeah, this is a nice contrasty scene. I'm pretty sure that was not white. Yeah, this center one kind of lost the dramatic effect that we had in real life. I would go yeah. with the one on the left. Just look at the first sign, how the light shines down on it. It looks natural. Yep, me too. I really love the moody feel of how dark it is, but all the colors pop here, all the glow. Yeah, really and that's nice. how it looked like in real life. 15 Pro Max. The iPhone I don't know is why coming the back. Didn't do as well in this one. For yeah. Maybe the ultra wide. And we have a regular nighttime shot. I like the center. This coat is nice and black without all this gray noise. And back here, all of this stuff looks good. That's an interesting one because his coat is completely too dark here. You can't even see a zipper, mm -hmm. even though on this one you can. In general, I'd probably go with the one on the center. Yeah, I don't know what this one did. It makes it tries to make it look like daylight, where yeah. obviously it's not. So the center is the 15 Pro. Oh, oh wow, it's catching up. It's catching it's up at night, huh? Surprisingly. Yeah, at night. Okay, we got this shot. Um, I believe these are all 5Xs. I like the one on the right. Look at that horse. You can actually, there's some contrast there. Yeah, I don't like here where there's just basically a warm filter over everything. And then the center one, it looks really over-processed. So HDR. what do you think the so right, right one is? iPhone. Ah, oh, <laughs> How do they keep flipping like, like this? Where like one will be perfectly exposed, true to life, oh, and then it'll switch crazy. to another phone another time. And we got the Lego, Lego. sign. My kids are so excited, but it was closed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That's the wall, man. Well, why are hey, these man, dark? It, it and the this best, one, it did the best job. Maybe because it was really dark outside. <laughs> that one's too blue, too white. Perfect. Yep. I mean, this one looks like you just got this from like Google Images. It's just perfect. All right, we're going to the left. And that's 24. The S24. Wow. I don't know why the Pixel is trying to make nighttime be day in a lot of these really dark shots. And we got this beautiful reflection. Ooh in the water. Yeah, I would still choose the one on the right, even though I don't like the sky. This looks sharper. It pops. Yeah, it, it just pops right away. Yeah, I'd agree. I don't like how gray and flat this is. That one looks really nice and moody. Yeah, you even see in the water you have like pop there where this is just all it's brought really, together. Yeah, soft. iPhone. iPhone. Pro Max. Ooh, it's gonna be close. This was hecka dark. Regular 2X shot. I like the one on the right. You can see his jacket clearly, and I'm pretty sure it's not green jacket. It's a brown jacket. I like the center. I was gonna say the left, but it looks like something's going on with the shadows where it messes up, like kind of more natural looking. And look how clear his jacket is right there. 
It's not blurry. I don't know. It just blurred out. It looks the colors it's sharper look so here. off. Like, this is why I want to hear your guys' opinions in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. And there we go. So late an iPhone. No love for Samsung Woo! on this one. This is close. We're almost done here. We have an ultra wide at night. It was very dark. I like the one on the right just because it actually kept the red color. Yeah, I'd agree. I don't like how this one looks all too warm. iPhone. iPhone. Oh, snap. <laughs> Did a good job. Uh -oh. Wow. And oh. <laughs> uh, so we know what this is. <laughs> I had to take another moonshot. Samsung was in some controversy for its 10X lenses. Now they got 5X. Oh man. It still took a picture. It actually looks worse than last year. So they got it from Google images. Uh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> but it looks worse than before. We got that and we got this. With this phone, Are you I actually. Sure that's took, not a flashlight. <laughs> I, I took like 10 shots. This one was one. This one has either one or two to make sure it's focused. This I took like 10. That is the best one I got. Dang. But all of them are 5X optical. Okay, we obviously know yeah, it's the center, center, but if I were to actually guess which one's which, so <laughs> the S24, yeah. the Pixel, and that's the iPhone. And you are exactly hey. correct Ooh. on this one. <laughs> you this win looks a like sticker. what a 5X probably should do. iPhone yeah. just can't even focus no matter what I tried. And the Samsung is probably AI stuff they're doing. Copy paste from yeah. Google. <laughs> All right, guys. So that <laughs> nice. is it for us voting. Oh, if you guys goodness. followed along, please count up and comment down below what your choices were. Or if some phone really surprised you or something stood out, comment down below. These guys are tallying up their votes. All right, Ben, what were your numbers? So I got 13 for the mm. iPhone, even though in the beginning it was smoked. Yeah, you didn't vote for iPhone for a while. For like the first seven pictures mm -hmm. and it caught up, which is super crazy. And then 11 for the S24 and 11 for the Pixel. Wow. I got the same scores as him, but no way. actually for a different phone. I got 11 for the S24 Ultra. 11 for the iPhone and 13 for, for the, the Pixel. Pixel. Wow. Wow. So that was close. There's definitely, you know, there's preferences that go along with mm -hmm. it, which is why we do it this way. And it looks like the iPhone at the end started to catch up quite a bit. So if you take a lot of nighttime photos, the iPhone starts mm -hmm. to excel. But with that said, in the daytime, these other two phones are doing a really good job. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click that circle above to, to subscribe. Check out one of those great videos right over there, and we will see you in the next one.